Cost in Azure Virtual Desktop comes from two main sources, your disks and running virtual machines. And besides sizing all the VMs in your pools correctly, the best way you can save money is just turn them off. But wait a second, if your VMs are off, how can you still use them? Here in the Azure portal, go to your subscription and we're gonna grant some new permissions. Click Access Control on the left and at the top, select Add a Role Assignment. In the search box, type Power On Off and select the role right there, then click Next and we need to grant that permission to the AVD service. So select the member and search for Azure Virtual Desktop. Click right over there and then hit select at the bottom. Now click next. And once that is granted, you can check it in the role assignments. And then if you go to one of the resource groups where your AVD host pools are deployed, you can check your role assignment there and see that the role is there as well, inherited from the subscription. Now jump over to the AVD portal and then go to scaling plans on the left. And let's click to create a new scaling plan. Select the same subscription that you granted the permissions in and select your resource group. Now a scaling plan can be assigned to multiple host pools. So if you wanna do that, put the plan somewhere central. But you could also create a single plan for each pool so that you can manage them separately. In that case, put the plan in the same resource group as your host pool. Then give your plan a name and select a location. And that location must be the same location where the pool is located. And for me, that's gonna be in the East US. Then give it a friendly name and a description if you like and scroll down. Now the time zone should be set for the same time zone where the session hosts are located. That way when we're working with our schedules in a minute, everything's gonna line up properly. And we're gonna set the pool type here as personal. As for the exclusion tag, this is kind of cool if you have any VMs in your pool that should never be powered off, like your CEO's computer. And you can put something in this box like no scale, and any VM that you add that same tag to will be ignored by the scaling plan. Click next. Now the schedules define the behavior of the pool at specific times throughout the day, but each day of the week can only be assigned to one schedule within a single plan. So you may wanna set one schedule for weekdays and another one for weekends. So let's create a schedule, give it a name, and then select the days that you want and click next. Here in the ramp up section, the default start time is 8 a.m. And that's when your log on storm for the day will begin. And now you need to make a choice. I told you before about start VM on connect and I do suggest that you use it because these schedules can sort of feel like an all or nothing thing, meaning that you can choose to power on all of the VMs that are assigned to any of your users, or you can just turn them all on. But combining your personal desktop auto scale with Start VM on Connect means that you can select this third option, which will leave all the VMs powered off. And then when your user goes to sign in, Start VM on Connect will do its thing, power on the VM, sign in the user. The best thing about this is if Sarah goes on vacation for two weeks, her VM will be off the whole time, saving you money. And when she comes back, she doesn't have to ask anybody to power on her VM, which is gonna save your admin's time. Now, all that's great for starting up, but what about shutting down? Now, a user can get out of their personal desktop session in two real ways. They can just close the RDP window, and that's how they disconnect, or they can click start and then click sign off, and that's how they log off the machine. And since here we're dealing with the start of the day, you need to choose how long after they disconnect or log off that you want the VMs to perform an action, which in this case is shutdown. And that'll deallocate the machine in Azure so that you're not paying for it. Now you might be tempted to make this really small, but remember, Start VM on Connect will have to send the request to the Azure VM service, turn on the VM, the Azure agent has to come online, then the AVD agent has to come online and sync up with the service, then complete the sign-in process. And all that can take a couple of minutes. So you may have to play with these settings a little bit to find the sweet spot for your users. And remember, each host pool could be configured with their own scaling plan if you need to. So let's click next, and then we basically rinse and repeat. Your peak hour time is when you expect the logon storm to be over and everybody's in their environment and working. So do you wanna still use Start VM on Connect at that time? 
I think the general answer would be yes. And then you have your disconnect and log off times. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if I just click next ahead for a second, the ramp down period is going to begin at 6 p.m. or at whenever the end of your workday is. And that means if we go back to the peak hours, that peak hours will also include lunchtime. So I suggest that your times here where the VM stays up should be longer to account for those lunch breaks. So set the times as you want to and then click next. Now think about this. Let's say somebody logs off. Well, I'd assume then that they're going home and they're done for the day. So I'll set their time for five minutes and then shut down. But disconnect is maybe a different story. Let's say Cindy is working on something and she plans to go home and then get online and keep on working. You could leave the disconnect state here set to none, which will give those folks a chance to go home without their VM shutting off. Something to think about. Let's click next because the off peak hours are right around the corner and you can set these times to be very short, like as in zero, so that as soon as they disconnect or log off, the VM will shut down. So give all these settings some thought and when you're ready, click add and then repeat for any other schedules you wanna add. When you're ready, click next. And now we can add your pools to this scaling plan. And remember, they do need to be in the same Azure region. Then click next again and add your tags like you should for all your resources and then click create. Now there's a whole lot more to talk about in managing Azure Virtual Desktop that you'll find right over here and happy learning.